Okay, we're going to do a little exercise on hexadecimal. Okay, so who can remember the place values we had? Just like base 10, just like base 10. Okay, I think I need to get the drawing first. Okay, base 10, we had 1, 10, 100, 1000 and so on. This hexadecimal system is actually times it by 16. Yes, times it by 16. So base 16, you start off with the unit, 1 times 16, 16. 16 times 16, 256. Okay, 256 times 16, 4096. Okay, so, and the symbols we have for hexadecimal is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and if you want to write 10, you have A, B, C, D, E, and F, F for 15. If you want to write any number using a, si a, a single symbol on the units, you can write any number between 1 to 15, okay? A being 10, B 11, C uh, 12, and so on. All the way to 15, you have F to make 15. But the moment you want to make 16, you can't do with one symbol. What do you have to do? You have to use two symbols, okay? You have to use two symbols. So you have to shift a column, and use two, two, two symbols, okay? You can't use any more, uh, in a single symbol for your, uh, uh, anything greater than uh, 15. So if suppose we want to write 22, okay? You want to write the number base 10, which is 22. How would we write 22? The first thing you need to do, the first thing you need to do, you need to find, okay, the closest number to 22 first. Can we use the, can we use the column 256. No. Too big, too big. Can't use that, that's far too big. So the next column is 16. Can, is 16 bigger than 22? No. 16 bigger than no? Okay, so therefore we can use 16 because 16 is less than 22. Okay, so how many lots of 16 do we need? One. You can't use two 16, can you? We can only one lots of 16. So you put one in the 16 column. Okay, then how much more do you need to make 22? You already have 16. Six. Okay? Six? Yes. You need six? Yes. Okay. Do we have a symbol for six? Yes. yes, we do. So in the units column, we put 16 here. One six in hexadecimal is equal to 22 in base 10. Is that clear? Yes. Any question? No. Okay. The number you want, we want to do is, right in hexadecimal, is number 27. Okay? So the first thing we need to do, we need to find the column that is closest to the number 27. We, obviously, we don't want it too big. Okay? So can we use 256? No, it's far too big for number 27. The next column down is actually 16. We don't want to go anything lower. Okay? We can't use this. There is no symbol to represent number 27 a single symbol the maximum we have is 15 which is f so we want to do we need two symbols so do two symbols first what we need to do we can't we just we, we said we can't use 256 what we want you we use, to use use the column of 16 how many lots of 16 do do we need can we have two 16s no so you can't use the symbol two okay so we can we need one lots of 16. now what we need to do is we need to calculate how much more? We have one lots of 16. How much more do we need to make it to 27? Good, 11. So do we have a symbol for 11? If we look down there where you got all the symbols, okay, you got uh, 0 to F. Do we have a symbol that represents 11? Yes. yes. What symbol is that? B. B. So if you write B on the units level, so 1B is equal to 27 in base 10. Okay, and that's how you do hexadecimal. Any question? Okay, we've done two exercises already. We've done 22, we've done 27. Let's have a bigger number. We're going to do a bigger number this time around. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 
163. Okay, so the number we're, gonna, we're looking for is 163. Okay, 163. The first thing we need to do is to look at what number, okay, is closest to this number 163. We don't want to go over it, we don't want to get too much. So, can we use 256 column? No, that's too big. It's far too big. We can't use that. So the only option we need to, we need to go down a bit. So we all have the 16 column. So what number can we, well, how many 16 do we need to get to closest to 163? Okay. We don't want to go over it. What is the closest thing we can do to get to 163? Okay. Yes, Adam. 10 lots of 16. Yes. Ten, if I have 10, if I can have a symbol where it can make 10 lots of 16, I can get very close to 163. So how do I do 10 loss of 16? Yes. A. a. Okay, if I put A on the 16 column, okay, this means 10 times 16. 10 times 16 makes 160. 160. How much more do we need to make 163? Yes, Abdurrahman. Three. Okay, do we have a symbol for three? Yes, we do. So all we need to do is just put that 3 on the units column and that equals to 163 in base 10. Is that understood? Okay, any question? Okay.